there's many ways to track height. Uh, some people choose to use a graphical tracking system uh, with, with some software. Um, you can create your own with the digital photo log and weekly pictures. I generally did, you know, an Excel sheet um, just based on what I did last week, uh, what my t uh, heights were now, and taking the difference between the two to figure out how much I grew in a week. You know, and, and generally speaking, you're going to target uh, mostly a uh, inch to an inch and a half. Uh, anytime do you got, if you're trying to recover, that's when you're trying to get that two inch of growth, all right, or or higher. I would generally recommend that once you get it, be realistic. Um, if you need to recover three inches, you, you don't want to do that to your poinsettia. Your, your nodes are going to be super elongated. The little look very wonky at that point. Uh, at, that's when you need to say, do an established plan of, I'm going to recover a little bit of my inches every week, as opposed to trying to do it in one big jump. Yep. Um, I, think, uh, I think what's important too is use history. You, you know, keep, keep your records, those documents, I like a, a stick, uh, just a large stake, and you write on that stake. You mark, make a mark to the height of the poinsettia, and then you get and write the date. If you'd apply to PGR, you write that you applied the PGR and the date, and then you take that stick and you you write the, the the variety and the pot size on that stick, and you throw it in a box. And the next year, when you come out and you grow that variety again you stick a blank stick in to track what you did. And then in the pot next to it, you stick the stick that you had from last year. So then you know you have this barometer of where you were week by week, day by day. Um, so you have that history sitting there right next to you. So I always like that. I think that because you, you, you kind of remember what happened last year, that's where using, if you can use graphical tracking, if you have last year's records, that's a good thing to use as, as a reference. So it's always important to look at what, ex what you experienced before. Obviously, weather variables, different conditions are going to be in play, but at least it gives you some sense of what's going on.